Hi, welcome to Limitless Yvonne, the podcast. I'm your host, Yvonne Sharma, or otherwise known as Ivy. I get very inspired when it comes to helping others to provide tips and advices through my experience in life. How to motivate them regardless of ability in hopes to provide a framework to a limitless mindset. Hi, this is episode two where I'm going to talk about controlling five tips to controlling pain. Pain for many of us, there are different levels of pain, different types of pain, physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, ongoing pain, or chronic pain, pain that you live with all the time. When we attach negative feelings towards the pain, we become suffering, which we don't want to do. Step one, one of my favorite ways to take my pain away from pain, take my mind away from pain. So for me, doing something that engages my mind rather than thinking of the pain. So when I have people over, friends over through the different conversation and just hanging out with them, being in the different perspective, being out of place of pain, just for these moments, I'm having so much pain. I not only forget about the pain, but I also forget about the time. Um, Dancing is another way to take your mind off pain, even for that one hour or how many hours you dance for. And then next, and then after a while, you realize how much pain you are, but at least it helps you get rid of pain in that moment. Step two, another great way to, another great way is simply to breathe. We think, oh, it's just breathing, but trust me, it really helps. Breathing helps your muscles, and as you get stressed, you tense up and your muscles get tense, which adds on to the pain. So please, whenever you get opportunity, just remember to breathe. It really helps relax and take your mind off the pain. Step three, taking periodic breaks to control the level of pain. This is yet another simple trick to control pain, which most of us forget as we get caught up in something we are engaged in, which is, which is redundant to step, step one thing, doing things you take to take your mind off the pain. But when you get too much engaged, you forget to take the necessary breaks, which helps control the level of pain. So whenever I get engaged in something, sometimes I forget to take the periodic breaks needed to help me control my pain. So I implore you guys, please take breaks as much as possible throughout the day. And I know it's hard. I don't do it myself sometimes, but you just have to take that moment and do it to help relieve your pain. Step four. This is one I do practically every day. It's instilling a habit of meditation. So through the practice of meditation, It helps you control the stress level in your turn. It helps you control the pain level as well. Brain releases endorphins, which are natural pain relievers. And as your muscle and joints are more relaxed, your brain can be in a calmer state yet. And you feel more relaxed and less in pain. Um, so just meditating, being in the moment, practicing mindfulness, these simple techniques 
really help relieve your pain. And the last step, thinking positive as much as possible. Because remember, as I said, if you attach negative emotions towards the pain, it leads to suffering, which we don't want. So pain is okay, but not attach any narrative to it. Um, thinking positively, again, helps you relax as we're not tense anymore. Um, thinking about the good things in return, good things will happen. So you will feel less pain. Thank you guys for listening to episode two, five steps to controlling pain. If you like what you listen to, and if you get any benefits from it, please subscribe over at iTunes and let your friends know. I hope to inspire others and provide a framework to a limitless mindset. So if you get anything benefits from it, please subscribe and give me a review. It really helps. Have an awesome day. See you next time. Thank you.